Hey guys, welcome to Linux Automations. And in this today's class, we are going to talk about exit status initial script. Firstly, you need to understand what is the importance of exit status. With shell scripts, you are going to make utilities, which may be used by some other users in the future, or it can be used by some other programs also. And if your script is used by other programs, then you should make sure that your script is written in such a way that other program can understand whether our script is giving the proper statuses so that based on our status, the other program is going to work. In general, it applies to all the commands or whatever we use in our day-to-day -day work. Either you put ls, grep, or whatever the commands we use in day-to-day -day job, okay, they provide the proper exit status so all those commands written in certain uh, status so that we can use those states to write a shell program now we're talking about exit status so like whatever the, i mean uh, what what this particular programs returns actually what it is going to return it is going to return a value from 0 to 255 it's not going to tell you a status whether it is a success or a failure the, with a, a button with a certain strings printing on the screen it is going to return some values and those values ranges from 0 to 255 so in this 0 to 255 if the exit status is equal to 0 then we can say it is successful or if the exit status is from 1 to 255 then it is a failure or even it is partially completed depends upon the command to command so let's talk about some standard states and uh, it is always recommended for the user to not to use the values more than uh, the value which is more than 125 so it is always recommended for the user to use the values from 0 to 125 whereas the remaining values are widely used by the system so here are some of the values so which are the in general standard values which is 126 which is nothing but permission is denied so did you ever if you perform any action which is not allowed for you which you get permission denied errors so let's say for an instance if you try to execute a file which does not have an executable permission then you see a permission denied errors right so in that case we usually see 126 as exit status the next one is 127 which is command not found in this case if you are running a command which doesn't exist in directories which are set in the path variable then receive then you receive a command not found error and usually in such cases so we see 127 as the exit status and the next very important one we have is the kill states okay so if, if there is any value more than 128 so we can tell that particular program or the command whatever you executed has been killed by a kill command with a certain signal and that's the reason we have a simple calculation which is 128 plus n is equal to the status of the status of the program which it has returned if it is more than 128 so if you ever wonder what all the signals we can use with kill command so you have a certain option which is kill hyphen l which tells you what all the signals you can pass to a particular command particular process id i can say so here in general we may use usually uh, hyphen 15 so which is the default if you don't use any value or hyphen 9 which is a forceful kill or hyphen 2 which is nothing but interrupt so which is nothing but control c and hyphen one which is nothing but signal hub to reload the configurations and so let's see a small example with the a small formula whatever we have used assume you have an exit status which is 130 so you apply this particular formula so 128 plus n is equal to 130 and if you see you get the value as 2 so i can tell this particular program or that particular program which written the exit status was interrupted 
and let's say an example we are having 137 as exit status so you can see 137 minus 128 is giving you a 9 value so you can surely tell that particular process has been killed by using kill-9 signal so now we are pretty much uh, clear about what are the exit status numbers now let's see how do we check the exit status how do we check the exit status is in a shell there is a special variables available so one of the special variable which is a dynamic variable store the exit status of previous executed command so what is that variable is so exit status special variable is question mark to access this variable so we usually use dollar character preceding to a question mark variable so dollar question mark to access the exit status of previous executed command as i am demonstrating the exit status com exit status i am going to use echo command to print the exit status on the screen so it also be, can be used in conditions to check whether it is successful or not as okay by simply giving dollar question mark is hyphen eq to zero so which will be covering in another part so let's say i am running a script which is script.sh and i am having a code echo hello world and exit one so how do i how do i return my own status in my own script by using an exit command so exit one is going to return status one let's say if you have given exit exit space 20 you are going to get an exit status which is 20 on the on the terminal once the script is completed if you see the exit status you are going to see the status which is written by the exit command so let's have a small demonstration about this particular uh, exit status so here you can see a script uh, the same script which we have just now seen but we are using an exit command without any status if i execute that particular sc script and if i see the exit status i'm going to see the exit status as zero why because exit command will return a status zero by default if you don't specify any particular status so let's modify this particular script and use and you see the exit status as one so if you put a 20 value you are going to get an exit status as 20 If you would like to see the small standard values I have a file so which is a, a one file which doesn't have an exit status if I try to execute that one so which I'm getting a permission denied error so in this case I'm going to get 126 as permission denied errors so assume I have a command which is LSS I don't have that particular command installed and if you see echo dollar question mark and you see the exit status as 127 so for kill states so you can see on one terminal i am running a sleep command so which a process is running and on another terminal if i see the process id for that particular sleep i get this as 5242 as my process id so if i use kill hyphen if i use kill hyphen 9 to kill that particular process and you can see the message which is uh, killed and if you see the exit status so which it is going to tell you as 137 so if you subtract one 128 from 137 you are going to get a 9 number so that is the kill signal which we have used and now we have pretty much discussed about what all the exit status we have and one last point what if any exit status is not specified 
if none of the exit status is specified by using exit command your shell script is going to return the exit status of last executed command so in this example so i have a single command which is grep command i'm going to get the exit status of my grep command so thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day